Okay, I will now explain the paintings. Let's start with this one. This is my first painting ever. Acrylic on canvas, as usual. And the year was 2006. This is heavily inspired by the Silent Hill 3 game. Look at this frame. The frame is the best part of this painting. It's made to look like mangled flesh with barbed wire and some metal things. And it is made from car putty, stuff that you use to repair the dent in your car. This one was a gift for my wife when I met her. It was made in 2012. So this planet depicts a hill that me and my wife were visiting to watch the meteor showers. You can see the deer tracks here. Everything is covered in snow and we see a meteor here. When we were there alone at night, we felt like we had our own little planet. And I took that seriously. This is made with airbrush. The hardest thing is to make those organic shapes with the airbrush, you need to just stop thinking. So this is the Orion with the Orion belt and Beetlejuice here and the great Orion Nebula. Here we have Aldebaran and Jupiter with its Galilean moons. And above that we had Gemini, although I needed to squeeze them a little bit. And this is serious. I'm serious. This is my newest painting. It's in my own style, which I called the tinfoil hatterism or tin art. The idea behind tin art is to combine different conspiracies and symbols into a seemingly innocent and aesthetically pleasing piece. So we have sheep here, and one sheep wandered off and came through the other side as a rat in a tinfoil, witnessing this. I started this one two years ago and painted almost everything on live stream. Mały teścik, mały teścik. This is my longest painting. It measures two and a half meters in length and it took me 14 years to complete. It is based on my favorite game of all time, Monkey Island LeChuck's Revenge. This game had a huge impact on my childhood and made me learn English by myself by word association. I started with this canvas in 2007, then added this one a year later and then I've decided to join them by creating this middle painting. I started with the right canvas, depicting a swamp on which the International House of Mojo is located, with the house itself changed by me for unknown reasons. The second canvas was painted later that year, and you can see the village of Woodtick here. Here's the entrance to the Bloody Lip Bar and Grill, And that's where Wally the cartographer lives. Hi there, can I help you? The third canvas was painted much later and it merges the two locations together. It's an entrance to Woodtick with a simplified cemetery and a glowing cave added by me and non-existent in the game. So this is where the actual game starts with Guyver's three foot coming from the right side and being mugged by Largo La Grande, who is a self-proclaimed dictator on the Scab Island. Help! Police! So you take this shovel. Oops. I think I broke the sign. 
and you use it later here. This one is unfinished still. It's from the Secret of Monkey Island. Who played the game knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to paint a huge Secret of Monkey Island writing here and put Guybrush 3 boot here. That bird will peck my hand off. This one is a piece about virtual reality made by me in 2018. It looks like this because it's not varnished yet. I was very focused about making the constellations astronomically correct. And I forgot to add more color to the picture. The geography is also correct. This is the Arabian Peninsula and that's the rest of the Asia. So the philosophy behind it is that we are still monkeys, just the uh, trees have changed into steel and glass buildings and that the technology that we praise so much can be deceiving or something like that. Here are some other paintings. So in summary, I painted about 20 paintings, I still don't know how to paint, it's always a struggle and a big question mark, I have no idea about the theory of color or perspective or shadow and highlight and it shows in my paintings, but who cares. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!